thoughts of it when you made this roster? Uh, well, a lot of different things go into it. Uh, we had really, really hard decisions, but when it comes down to it, Bergie and I's job is to put the best team on the ice that we think is going to win a championship. Um, and that's what we did. S simple as that. Coach, uh, how has the mentality of this team maybe changed going into this postseason as opposed to last year's? I think we expect uh, to play more than five games, basically, at the, at the gist of it. Um, we've kind of known we're going to be in the playoffs for a little while now, so we've been playing that type of hockey, understanding we're going to be in these battles, so let's play that way uh, as long and as consistently as we can. So uh, the biggest thing for us is to take it a game at a time. Like These teams, they're all formidable opponents, uh, good individually and as teams. So we have to take it as a one, one day, not even one game, just one day mentality uh, to keep our energy high and uh, just not try to have things snowball and get away from you. Last year, uh, it was your first time with us. As a head coach, how did that prepare you for this year now that you're top seed and you're going through the second time now? Uh, it certainly helped a lot, right? All I remember saying last year to you guys and to Roger and to Dan on the radio is just we want to play as many meaningful games, as many meaningful games as we can and give ourselves a chance to play uh, in the playoffs or have, be in that run towards the end of the year. Uh, and obviously the guys in the locker room did a heck of a job playing meaningful games and getting ourselves into the playoffs in that last day. And it, I think it puts that, that hockey karma, that juju in, in the rink where we've done something like that before. We understand what it takes and that really anything is possible. When you, and now when you get in the postseason, everything starts over. Um, so you have to have that same mentality one day at a time and just keep moving forward. How much more confident is this year's group as opposed to last year's? Uh, I think it would be impossible to not be a lot more confident. I mean, everybody knows we won the North, we won the East. We beat every team that we played this year. We, we also lost every team that we played this year. Um, so we've got a lot of momentum as pertains to the experience we've gained as a group. We've had a lot of guys in and out of the lineup. Uh, but I think it comes from the top down. We've got a lot of really good leaders, and they run the room on their own. Right? We don't have to say a, a whole lot to them. They understand how we need to play and what's going to make, make us successful, and whether it's Skio or Felix, Harper, Hirano, Smith, Ashbrook. Even your rookies are, have turned into leaders because of the type of people that we have in there. So that just filters confidence through the group also. Let's talk about how, how deep this lineup has been on you. Now you have the opportunity to get some guys down for you to come for this playoff run. Like, and yeah, it'll be it'll be nice to get everyone in the building. They're they're not here yet. Middendorf is the only guy um, that's here right now. Obviously, Felix got here this weekend and he remains. Um, those other guys, McKinnon, uh, and Garas, Ibrahimov, and Gantus remain in Utica, uh, and their job is to try to get them into the playoffs. Uh, and we hope that happens for them. And then, if and when they join us. Uh, they'll be welcome additions. They're all guys that want to be here and help us make a run, which is very important. you got to want to be where you're at. Uh, and I think we have a room full of guys that they're not satisfied. Right? They have that feeling in the stomach where we're not, we're not satisfied with just a good regular season. We want to continue to play well and compete the same way we did now. RC, you know, the, the year of some injuries in that with, with uh, Brady going down again and, and Holter and Papura, but you look at two guys that you're running with, Jeremy Berder, and Isaac Poulter. Poulter hasn't lost the game regulation as he's been down here. Jeremy Berder has been a step for you all year. Yeah, it's nice to have him here. I know Poulter will be our starter in game one, and we'll see how he goes. And he very well could be back in the net in game two. So uh, I think they're a good combination. Poulter has come down, and uh, that cohesion that the three of them had all year, It's and now it's a group of four, right? And they all work really well together. They understand the business side of the situation. Uh, and we're happy and lucky to have all of them here. You got to win them. You got to win them. I can remember playing Vegas when we went to the finals. We played two in Vegas, four in Alaska, and then the game seven would have been back in Vegas. Thankfully, we didn't have to do that. But there's there's all types of scenarios. So you know, not to sound like a Neanderthal here, but these guys are savages in there. They they 
they're different people. They're a different breed. We just played seven and ten with travel to, Ala- uh, to Allen, Texas, straight to Maine. We got points in every single game, right? So I think these guys just look at the schedule, take a deep breath, fuel their bodies up, and let's get going. Is that an entry that you to hang out here and have Maine travel, travel into town again since you saw them last week? Is that an entry for you? I mean, it's nice being home, but we've, we've got a good record on the road as well, and these guys understand how to take advantage of the resources at their disposal, whether you're home or away. Uh, it's come it's come such a long way in how to prepare yourself and what to do. So whether we're home or away, the mentality is the same. Let's get out to a good start and play Adirondack neck Thunder hockey. Coach, um, you know, obviously a, a tough regular season for you guys, a lot of midweek games. The last couple of weeks, you guys have gotten a lot of rest during the week, you know, especially Friday, Sunday this week, and then don't play again on Friday. How much does the rest help you guys Especially late in the season, coming into the playoffs. Yeah, it's big time. You know, we took two days off. Uh, had a good skate today. We'll have a good quicker skate tomorrow, and then we'll only practice twice next week as well. well just focused on the energy. They know they know what they need to do. So it's been a grind of 72 games. Uh, so now it's just about keeping them ready. Just, they know the systems. If they don't, we're in, we're in trouble. So now, how close can we be to 100 percent? We're never going to be there. Pete, what's just the final message to your guys? You know, ahead of this first round. Take advantage of your opportunity. Uh, there's guys that never get to the playoffs, right? Um, guys that never win a round, and it's extra special here in Adirondack. I think we've seen that um, from January last year um, through to here, the end of our regular season in 23-24. So um, you play the game to get in the playoffs. Uh, when you look back on it, you want to be part of those games and know that you did everything you could to lay it on the line because it's, uh, it's really special, and the further you move on, you get into this groove. Um, and it becomes more special. So I want them all to experience that. I know Coach Bergen does, and I know our whole staff and our fans deserve that. So we're going to do our best to stay in the moment and play as long as we can. How much has it helped having a guy like Bergie, you know, be your assistant in the last two years, a guy whose name doesn't get mentioned a lot, but he really does do a lot of great work behind the scenes? He uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I wouldn't have taken the job if he wasn't the assistant. For real, that was I said that to them. I said if Bergie's not the assistant, it's not something I'm really interested in doing because uh, he recruited the number one class at Skidmore, a little a liberal arts school in Saratoga that doesn't have their own rink. And he, he legitimately rooted, recruited the number one class in the country, and you've seen how well that team's done the last two years. They went to the conference final. It was a, definitely this year. I don't. They may have lost in the semis last year, and they were the last team to miss out on the national tournament. So Bergie knows hockey. Bergie was tough as nails when he played. Bergie was the best defensive defenseman we've ever had here. Uh, So it's a no-brainer. And what the guys learn from him is uh, it's invaluable to our group.